Here it is, baby's first bath. Dust bath, that is. It is amazing to me that they know exactly what to do with it. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it why are you hanging all over me like this because it's been raining for so long it's just like snuggle or nap weather it is definitely summertime here in south florida you wouldn't know it because Wet. like you don't get to get out much right now it feels like summertime in seattle yeah, I mean, this is the time of the year where it rains every single day in Florida, but usually it only rains in the afternoon, like two or three hours. It's hot in the morning, two or three hours of rain, hot again. Not this week. The last, like, I don't know, like 10 days, 15 days, it has been raining every single day. I get super depressed when it's raining out. What about you? I get the blues a little bit, but I, it also makes me just really tired. Like I'm not necessarily sad. I just feel like, okay, it's time to go to, for a nap again. Yeah. So it's been kind of weird, but I do like you hanging on me. You can keep hanging on me. Thank you. <laughs> so today we're going to vlog our day. Today's Sunday. We're going to go over everything that we eat today. I'm sure most of the day Rachel will be in the garage. Why would that be? Because we have chickens now and Yay. you're moving into the garage. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much moving in. Now, in addition to um, vlogging today and our full day of eating for today, we're also going to show you some footage in just a second of what's going on for the last few days. So we were going to vlog the other day, then we got busy, and then we were going to vlog the next day, and then we got busy. So we got a little bit of footage of like getting the chickens, playing with the chickens, and then also some stuff that went on with church. Yeah, exciting. So we're going to start that now, and then we'll get into vlogging our whole day. Okay, it's official. Bessie is definitely my chicken because really all she wants to do is lay in the bath. I feel like handing her some keto chow ice cream and letting her really, really enjoy this. So how about them apples? Wow. It is food everywhere. Kind of awesome. Getting ready to pack it all up in care packages. Whoa. This is a lot of food. Exciting. Still raining. This is like day number nine. So we are working on coming when mommy calls us. Let's see how we are doing. Chuk 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 so this is a little bit insane that this is our first meal of the day and it is 6.30 in the evening, but we got super busy. I got some Quest chips. This is the ranch flavor. And we've got kind of a taco salad bowl going on here. We are starting to put all of the different components of the giveaway in different parking spaces and we're just going to have the cars drive through this center and then we can fill up their cars with um, all of the goodies. Super exciting. There's already a line down the block to get in and we're just about an hour away. It is Sunday morning and we are gonna start this day with a little Death Wish coffee.
So Anthony and Rachel just went on their regular Sunday morning trip where every Sunday morning in between first and second service, they get in the car and they go to the store, they go grab a soda, do something so they can spend a little bit of time together. While they're doing that, I'm gonna run out and try to hit a bunch of the different stores and look for a watermelon box for the chickens, which by the way, is also known as a Gaylord box. I have to go to Costco to return something so I figure I can check there. Then I also need to go to BJ's because BJ's um, has the Blackstone griddle, the one that I purchased. It's $50 cheaper now than it was when I bought it. So I'm gonna go to try to get my money back. And then if I can't find a box in one of those two places, I'll stop at Publix. Okay, so I go into BJ's to get the difference between what I paid for the Blackstone at the beginning of the month to what they're selling it for right now which I thought was $50, but it turns out that it's $75. So bonus, like I get an extra $25. And I figured this is not gonna be that big of a deal because at worst, what I could do is just go and buy the Blackstone with the new price, reel it up to the front, and then return it with the old receipt because it's not even 30 days yet. And BJ's has a pretty good return policy. So didn't think it was a big deal. So I go up to the girl, she's like, yeah, no problem, we can do this. So she's ringing everything up and then she hands me back $70. And I looked at her and I was like, wait a second, the difference is $75. Why am I only getting back $70? And she's like, well, you gotta pay tax on that. And I'm like, wait a second, I'm paying tax on the money that you're giving me back? And she's like, yes, that's how the system does it. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Why would I pay tax on the money you're giving me back? Like you you're have a less of a sale now than you had before. She's like, well, Uncle Sam's gotta get their money somehow. So I was like, okay, fine. And I knew this wasn't right, but my attitude was, listen, last night, I didn't know I was getting any money back at all. And then when I left the house this morning, I thought I was gaining $50. And then I got to the store, I figured, okay, I'm gaining 75. So, okay, so I only got $70 instead of $75. So I start walking around the store and it just kept irking me. I'm like, this isn't right. Cause really I'm not missing $5. I'm really missing $10. Cause I'm missing the $5 she shorted me. And then I'm also missing the $5 tax that I would have paid on that $75. So I go back up to the front and I find a supervisor and the supervisor is right, no, 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 that's right. And I'm like, no, why would I have to pay tax on money you're giving me back? And he's like, oh, you're right. So we owe you $5. And I'm like, no, you owe me $10. And he's like, well, how do you figure? And I'm like, because you know, you get I, the $75 difference is what I'm supposed to get back, but I paid taxes on that $75 too. And it took him about 10 minutes, but he finally did figure it out. And he goes, yeah, it's just, this is how the system's doing. I'm like, well, somebody probably needs to reprogram that system because I shouldn't be paying tax on money you give me. But in the end, I did come home with an extra $80. Unfortunately, they didn't have any watermelon boxes or they did, but he told me he has to give them back to um, the suppliers. So I'm gonna stop at a couple stores on the way home and see if any of those have them. Tabitha. Where's mommy? Are you supposed to be up there? You wanna go look for her? You wanna go look for mommy? Come on, let's go find her. I guarantee you I know where she's at. There she is. <laughs> You're recording me recording the chickens. I figured that this is where you'd be. Always. You gotta see, I started to get pictures hey of- guys. Of, uh, Ro not Roscoe but Charity, just doing a little shopping, browsing for baby chicks. I got a present for you. Okay. It's in the car. It's a watermelon box. <gasps> Yay! You but, guys are moving. But cardboard really stinks in the car. Ooh. Last week you had cardboard boxes in the car for like three days. I thought we had like they another reek roof leak. Quick. And then I realized that you had cardboard boxes there. So, so we may have to dry out your new home before you enter. No, it's not that wet. Okay. Two watermelon boxes zip tied together with a door to get in. Hey, we. this is my playroom now. This what are you doing? Going in there. With poop. Why? Because I want to chill with the chickens. You're going to chill with this the chickens. Stuff stain my shorts, it? No, it's just wood shavings. Here we go. Yes. Come over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is this? Use their... 
Next up, who's that? Next up is shot is Aunt, uh, Abigail. Here comes Naomi. Come on, guys. Next is Bessie, who has been trying to fly already, so she already needed a bigger space. They're not coming to get their food. You gotta call them. Bessie. Chirp, 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 chirp. Here comes Ruth. Chirp, 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 chirp. Chirp, chirp, chirp. There you go. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Come on. They're just kind of like, ah, uh, this is new. Chirp, 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 chirp. Here is Zua. They're still always gonna chill together. <laughs> they're kind of like, okay, my friends are back. They're waiting for their friends to come back. Now they're like, okay, our friends are back. You're good, Shiloh. You're the last but not least. I feel like when I was a kid and I used to build forts with boxes. Right? This should make Anthony right at home. When Anthony was a little kid, yeah. he used to take any box and that was the only it, toy he ever wanted. Yeah, we gotta get all of our lovin's in now before they start pooping in this. <laughs> Because it will be, it will happen soon. What are you doing? I have a feeling you're going to be finding me out here a lot now that I have an entire little playhouse. I am going to run to Harbor Freight and see if I can get a clamp yeah. so that we can keep our little entrance door thing here because closed. their escape artist, I've got to get duct tape and put here because they all want to go out that hole. Okay. But I'll go. I just saw him jump. I'm, I'll grab some duct tape. I had some, but I don't know where it is. So I'll get some more. Do you guys have a Harbor Freight near you? I love Harbor Freight. Yes, the tools aren't the greatest quality, but you can get stuff dirt cheap. So if there's something that you need for just like one or two uses, this is a great place to come. Also, like things like open end wrenches and screwdrivers, they're a pretty good quality and they're like half the price here that they are at like Home Depot. And the bottom line is all the stuff I get at Home Depot, we lose it anyway. I love Harbor Freight. You could save so much money there. If you've got one, you gotta go check it out, especially for things like screwdrivers or wrenches, things like that. But take a look at this. I got this sprayer nozzle here. I got a couple of packs of zip ties, which if you go to Home Depot, zip ties are super expensive. I got a roll of duct tape and I got a couple of different clamps and my total bill was $14. You cannot beat that. I mean, why should you go to Home Depot and spend like $10 on a bag of zip ties? These were a dollar. I mean, you're only trying to organize cables or maybe, you know, fix something really quickly. They're awesome for that. Are you ready to eat? Maybe. You can play for a little longer. Did you see Heath's post on our Facebook group? Yes. I'm going to be putting that into our uh, keto on the couch. No. That is like the best thing ever. You're not threatening the chickens to perform. Okay. Continuing on with questions from last week. Yeah. Cindy wants to know hey, what Cindy. your favorite keto dessert is. And I'm going to have to say, since we already said what our favorite keto treat is, let's go with like something you would make, not like a store-bought one. That's easy. It's the keto chow cheesecake that you make. Maple covered chicken. No, just kidding. Just kidding, baby. Oh. <laughs> now, I would have to say of all of the desserts we made, I mean, yes... Um, I like our cheesecake. There's a few things that I made, but I think my favorite and probably the simplest to make would be our cinnamon roll mug cake. We oh, haven't yeah. made it in a long time. We haven't made that in a long time. But that is really, really good. Lunch time. Okay, so we have a burger. It's like a uh, cowboy burger. So it's got some cheese, jalapeno in it. One of our little cheese crisps that we throw make on the Blackstone. Which my absolute fave. Uh, Brussels sprouts, because the Brussels sprouts were on sale at Costco, and these are the fresh Brussels sprouts. Again, everything was cooked on the Blackstone. So I cut them in half, put them under the dome, squirt a little bit of water, and then one slice of bacon in there just to add a little bit of fat. It is so good. And then at the very end, I put like two tablespoons of butter across the top of them to add an increase of fat. We've got some eggs, like three eggs with when I was cleaning out the freezer, I found <laughs> some corned beef. We cooked a corned beef and then we were, we for some reason weren't eating the rest of it. So I vacuum sealed and froze like what was left over. So that's like inside of the eggs. So that is lunch. And I was in Costco today. 
pina colada zip fizz. I am so excited. So about I'm this. drinking a pina colada zip fizz. I got this for you. Thank you, but I will be having a sip of yours. Yeah, but that's for you. Okay. Peach. I'm trying to get rid of the peach. I don't like peach. But it does say baby I'm yours, which is very sweet. So yeah, Anthony, we asked him to go to the store. Hey, can you bubbly's on sale? Can you get me bubbly? He comes home with peach. Neither one of us like peach. Hmm. It's definitely pina colada. It's definitely pina colada. It's not dethroned fruit punch by a long shot. <laughs> it's got a little sourness to it. It's a solid meh. I had higher expectations for it, I think. Well, that's good because I got two boxes of it and I really, really like it. We're gonna leave this over here. I'm also gonna have a little bit of Alternative Sweets spicy ketchup and some Redmond's that we need to refill. So did I pass by your computer with a bidet on your monitor? Possibly. So when you handed me the BJ's catalog this morning, which is where I found out that they're having the Memorial Day sale and the Blackstone was cheaper and I got my money back. You also handed me a Costco one and the bidet seat that I have really wanted for a long time oh, Lord. is $200 off. So I am looking at it and I'm just trying to figure out how I can get electric to the toilet and I think I finally figured it out. I think that there's very few people who are thinking to themselves, how am I going to get electric to this toilet? I figured it out. How? I was just messaging with Chris and he, of course, Chris. is like, look on the other side of the wall, which of course one wall is the shower. Wait, are you going to put a hole in the wall? I got to put a, a plug in the wall. So one wall is the shower. The other wall is the backyard. But you know what the third wall is? My closet. There's electric in the ceiling and in a light switch in my closet. So I can tap into the light switch, run the wire down the wall, move it over, poke it through, and I'll have electric right there next to the toilet bowl. Simple and messy. I can definitely do that. So I saw you had a bunch of shipping. What are you doing? Is that what you're gonna do when we're done eating? I think that's the rest of my day. What about you? What's your day looking like? Um, well, now that we've got everything done and I went to Costco and, I, and we got the watermelon box, which the chickens are really loving. Two watermelon boxes. I am going to go finish studying for my drone test. Why are we doing this? Be <laughs> Why not? I mean, I don't have a drone yet, but I'm going to have a drone. I just okay. got to find a drone. Tabitha looks so sad. And as soon as you pull out the camera, she's like, hey, don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. So Anthony's trying to make White Castle burgers and he was going to hand cut all the onions. Even at 19, I can still teach him something. Of course. Are you just moving out here now? Well, we were watching Resident Evil and I'm really close to being done with my shipping. Keto Chow ice cream. I'll be right back. So we've resorted to vlogging inside of the chicken box. We did wash our hands first. <laughs> okay, keto chow ice cream for dessert. Uh, this is made with two ounces of heavy cream and one serving of our homemade Instant Pot yogurt, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link over Rachel's makes head. Makes it really creamy. Makes it super creamy. Then I used a little bit of hemp chocolate milk, like three ounces because I had that left. It's unsweetened hemp chocolate milk I got from Whole Foods. And then another eight ounces of plain unsweetened hemp milk. And of course, this is what I think the best flavor for Keto Chow ice cream. And it's the chocolate peanut butter. Yeah. Because the peanut butter adds more fat to it because they're using peanut flour. It's really tasty. So I think if you ask which flavor, I mean, all of the flavors of Keto Chow make a really good ice cream. But if you're asking which one makes the best one, it's really, I have to tell you, is the chocolate peanut butter. It makes the best ice cream. I am up there with you, but next behind that is banana for me. Mm-hmm. So, okay, couple little things. Mm -hmm. First of all, we have, it's Sunday today. We're finishing this up on Sunday 
and uh, we have a lot of success stories for Keto on the Couch. So I, I wanted that. to get one of them out of the way right here, or not out of the way, but I wanted to be able to give everybody a good shout out. Yeah. So Bet, who is a new member on our Facebook family group, hey, which Bet. if you haven't joined, there's a link down below. Go join our Facebook family group. It could also be Betty. It is Betty. Betty, B-E-T-T-Y-E, -E. good job. Okay, so she wrote, 14 months ago, I was looking at my 75th birthday coming up to set in seven months, and I weighed in at 295 pounds. I needed to do something, and my oldest son called me to tell me he needed surgery, but the doctor told him he had to lose weight first, and he suggested the keto diet. I decided to try it also. Wow. Well, now I'm looking forward to my 76th birthday, and I'm still going strong on keto. I'm down 80 five pounds Betty. and off of many of my medications for heart issues that is awesome she said best decision i could have ever made so wow that is an awesome job betty congratulations i'm so glad that you found us and happy and almost birthday i'm glad that your health is improving even at the age of 76 it's never too late to start getting healthy it's not absolutely and i would love to know like how is your son doing too yeah absolutely okay so now we had a question on mm -hmm. our Facebook group. Caesar wanted to know, so hey, I've Caesar. been doing uh, intermittent fasting and OMAD for a couple of days now. How long should I keep this up for? Honestly, it's as long as you want. Right. My suggestion is always to kind of mix it up. Don't do OMAD every single day. Don't intermittent fast every day. Like maybe one day OMAD, one day do two meals, one day don't do anything, have three meals. The key is don't snack in between your meals. Right. But I think it's a great idea to just, you know, mix it up, kind of confuse your body a little bit. Don't let your body get used to only eating at five o'clock every day. Cause then what's gonna happen is one day at five o'clock, you're gonna like not be able to eat and your body's gonna start going, you are hungry, you've gotta eat. So Rolling. keep switching it up for yourself. One more before I eat my ice cream. I picked it up and I didn't even get a spoon of it. So we've got one more that I wanted to do. And Constance had a question. Hey, Constance. And she said, when should you have your biggest meal if you're doing two meals a day? Oh, wow. That's really good. Um, it's been different for us. It used to be what worked was have a small meal for at lunchtime and have a big meal at dinner. Mm -hmm. But since we've been in quarantine, honestly, I do much better to have a big lunch meal right. and then like end up with a keto chow or a couple eggs or something like that for dinner. Yeah, so we have definitely switched it up a little bit. Like Rachel said, we used to always have that big meal, especially if we were doing OMAD or if we were only doing two meals, we would eat a big meal late, like five, six, seven o'clock. And sometimes, and then we were gonna, we would have a smaller meal like for breakfast if we were gonna do two meals a day, like maybe at like 12, one o'clock, we'd have just a couple of eggs. The last few weeks, we've been doing it the reverse. You saw our meal earlier. That was our big meal. And now we're just finishing up with like 300, 350 calories a piece. It's helping me in the middle of the day. That seems to be my big crave time. Mm -hmm. I want to eat like two, three, four o'clock. So if I have, you know, a big meal in that lunchtime window, right. then I don't feel the need to snack like yep. I was. And then to end the day with something like this, makes me feel like I'm not, um, you know, missing out. Yeah. Because it's a sweet, it's a treat, and it's also fuel at the same time. And again, this is one keto chow split between the two of us. But what I like about this is it's much higher in fat. That kind of helps get us through the night, get us to the next morning. It's a nice treat. It's about 75% fat. It tastes delicious. And it's just enough. So, okay, I think we're going to finish off this vlog right here, sitting in a chicken coop. Rachel will probably be out here for several more hours. <laughs> it's a thing now. <sighs> choo, 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 choo. It's a thing. So, we've got these awesome chickens here. Who is this one? I don't know the names yet. Rachel knows all their names just by looking at them. Who is this? Okay, so that one is definitely Shiloh. This is Shiloh. The only one that I absolutely know Hannah. is Hannah, because Hannah is the chipmunk. Looks like a chipmunk. You can see her there. It's They're amazing really how big they're getting. They've grown like almost like two to three times their size in, in just 
five days. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you down because she wants to be really flighty. Now they're all coming. Yeah. Now that they know that this is like, let me see if I can lift my leg. <sighs> Crazy chicken lady. Well, that's going to be today's vlog. Let us know down in the comment section if you have any other questions and we can answer them on our next vlog. Mm -hmm. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video from a chicken poop, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.